Golden boot, golden ball, golden girl. What else did you grab tonight? Uh, no, I'm about to get a gold tooth, I think. Um, a World Cup champion. That's that's yeah. that's the ultimate thing that we grabbed tonight. I mean, unbelievable. I, I'm totally speechless. I, everyone's been trying to ask me to put it into words, and there's no words. Yeah. I, I mean, explain this team. You can put that into words because it just it seems special. It seems different. You hear people talking about it. But there's something to this group that just seemed different. I just feel like at every moment through the whole cycle when we should have splintered, we should have been catty, we should have been bitching about things, we should have been more insular, we always went out. We always came together. Um, we always stuck together as a group, and we just grinded it out. Um, there, You know, we have such a great veteran core on this team, but then – it's like the younger kids are just ridiculous. Like, well, how do they get so good so young? Um, showing up on, on the biggest stage, Roosevelt is, is bronze ball winner um, in her very first World Cup. It's, it's insane. So I just feel like there's just something about this group that said nothing will ever bring us apart. Um, and I think that, that that meant that no team will ever beat us. A lot of the players in the mix zone were talking about their journeys. And they were talking about how hard the journeys were. Can you put that in perspective? Because I think a lot of people on the outside, they don't understand how hard it is. Yeah, it's it's hard to put into perspective. Um, I mean, I feel like everyone in their own right um, had a tough road to go through. I mean, you look at Krieger, she was like not on any rosters for two years. Comes, she has to play the second half of the World Cup final. Absolutely bosses it. Um, mm -hmm. Unfazed at all points. Um, everyone who stepped up um, and played in this tournament is just you know, a testament to the will of this team and the strength of this team as, in, as um, individuals and then obviously collectively. Um, I don't know. I think we just, at all points, we just kind of had that look in our eyes, whether it was early on in the cycle or through this tournament, it was like, we're going to get through this. Three World Cup finals consecutive, two World Cups. What is the legacy of this group and this generation? I don't know. Um, I mean, I guess it's it's got to be up there, sort of close to your guys's. I don't know if anything will ever get close to your guys's, but um, I mean, we just want to be successful. We want to win everything. Um, we're competitive on and off the field. Um, I think much like you guys did, and this is where we learned it. Um, taking that fight off the field, making things better for not only ourselves but for everyone. Um, you know, I think we're. A leader in the world game and pushing the women's game forward and demanding more and you know just seeing how incredible this game can be I think this World Cup was such an amazing display from every team from every player of where the game is at now and where it's going in the future um, yeah I guess we're we're one of the best generations there's no best because every team is ridiculously successful um, but we can hold our weight I guess in the, in the Last question. Have you thought about this possibly being your last World Cup game? Um, I've thought about it, of course. Um, I'm going to be four years older, so <laughs> put me at 38 for the next one. Um, Piercy did it. Uh, a couple of players have done it. Um, I haven't really thought about it too much. Um, I under, you know, I'm not naive and stupid. Um, I realize, and there's, you know, plenty of little superstars chomping at my heels, but uh, I'll just enjoy it for now and not looking to hang them up anytime soon. Alyssa, can you even begin to put into words this moment what this tournament has meant for you and for this team? I can't. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of emotions. There's a lot of feelings. Um, this team is special. This has been a this has been a special ride, special journey. Um, you know, these 22 other women um, that I've gotten to go on this with is, has been uh, incredible. Um, and I am at a loss right now. Um, I'm happy. I'm excited. This has been, um, it's been a lot, um, but I'm excited and I'm taking in every moment. When you say this team is special, describe what that means. Um, to be honest, it's really hard to describe. It's it's the closest group I've ever been a part of. Um, you know, the relationships are deeper than I've ever than I've ever felt. And I, you know, we truly, truly had each other's backs. Every single person was fighting for each other, was competing for each other, with each other. And you know, even though there was there was a lot, this was this was big. We always had each other's back. We always believed in each other. 
we always fought for each other, um, and that's something special. With all the the question marks coming in over the goalkeeping position, simply because you hadn't started before in this World Cup, and now it seems you've put an exclamation point on that with this tournament. What does this tournament mean to you personally, winning it, and to the group? Um, it's special um, for me coming into it. There was, you know, I. I tried to stay out of a lot of those conversations. I tried to stay a lot of, out of a lot of those comparisons. Um, to me, this tournament was about how can I help this team win in 2019. That's all it was about from the beginning. Um, and going going into this tournament with my teammates and how can how can I help this team win? And that was my focus from the beginning, and I'm just really proud and happy that I was able to you know be a part of that and get this job done. First World Cup, Rose. First World Cup title seems pretty easy, right? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> what What did this tournament mean to you? Um, I mean, it's been so surreal. It hasn't really hit me yet, but I think we've just put so much work in the past couple years, and I think to see it come to fruition has been so surreal. And um, I get to do what I love with people I love. I've said that before, but it's just it's such an incredible experience. Walk us through that moment in the game where you put in the second goal. Um, yeah, they hadn't given us much space the whole game, and um, Sam played me a ball. I saw some space, so I took it and then got a shot at the top of the box, and thankfully it went in. <laughs> For this team, there's the veteran group, of course, that have been to multiple World Cups, but your younger group seemed to bring such an energy to this team. What was it about that younger group that made this group special? Um, I don't even know if it was just the younger group. I just think it was so cohesive. Like, these are some of my best friends on the team and I think um, that kind of cohesion you feel it every time you play and you feel that support every time you play and I think that's kind of what got us to the top. What did it mean to you to send out players like Megan Rapino, Becky Sauerbrunn, Carly Lloyd who may be in possibly their last World Cup? What did it mean to you to help them win that? Yeah I mean they're unreal and I think they deserve the world and I feel so lucky to be a part of this group. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.